We're alive and we have Nim who is one of the organizers of the rally in front of the Hyatt. Can you tell me how do you feel about the event of today? It's awesome! It's great! We have so many supporters. The workers are in are very happy. They have their they feel the support and we're very thankful for all the community and other union allies who came. For those people that do not don't know what are they asking, the hotel workers, can you tell me what what exactly are the things that the hotel workers are asking at this moment through this strike? Yes, number one is our job security. If we have no job, we have no future, we have no lives. The second one is we need workload reduction. We're killing ourselves there every day to do the job. And it's not, it's too much. We said enough is enough. And of course, number three is we want safety. We don't want to kill ourselves. We don't want to injure ourselves every day working such a heavy workload. And the company just wants to talk about money. It's not about money. Because what they're going to do is they're going to give us money wage increase and they're going to cut our jobs. Now tell me, how are corporations responding to this strike? Do you think they are scared at this point or they still tough? How's your sense? Oh, they're, they're terrified. All the managers are doing a job is exhausted to the ground and the bad uh, and then too bad for them because they're in salary they don't get paid with extra uh, and I, uh, my co-workers yesterday took a video of our hr and all of managers doing our uh, job and i feel so sorry for them it's too bad i'm like oh god i don't know how you how you guys gonna last long i i, I feel i have a feeling after a week they're gonna be dead tired or some of them is gonna be like Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for another job or something. It's just too much. It's just too much. One of the reasons why we're striking is we want the management to experience our job. How exactly. we do it every day. Every exactly. day. Exactly. This is what we do every day. Yes. Let's see how you feel. Exactly. You're working for one <laughs> week and you're dead. <laughs> That's great. Um, why anyone who's not a hotel worker should be invested in this strike? Because this contract is going to change the, the city, it's going to change the industry, it's going to change the lives of, of workers. We're not just asking for money. Of course we need money. This city is so damn expensive. We can't keep up with anything. But we, we're trying to change our life. We're trying to look to get quality jobs. We're trying to, to change our family's lives. We're trying to change our future. And uh, it's good. We're going to, we, I know we're winning. We are winning. We're very strong. And once we get this contract, it's going to expand to all the industry. I always say that this movement is going to open a wide door to all the social movements because this is a breakthrough. Yes. So, Nim, thank you so much for talking with us and please keep us posted. We're thank here to much. support. Go always support any movement, any strike. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maria Hernandez, reporting live here in Bruno's house. Um, we are going to talk about this new intrigue about our fellow Kababaya named Nim Calves. Let us all welcome Mr. Bruno. Hello, Mr. Bruno. Today, um, I want to, I want to ask you about this lady named Nim Calves. Do you know her? Actually, I don't know her personally, but uh, I watched the news and uh, I read a lot of comments about her. And uh, what I did, I searched her Facebook account uh, just to know uh, where she's coming from, what she's fighting for. What I found out as well, uh, that she works in a hotel in the street. And then um, I saw the interview. And then first of all, I would like to apologize on behalf, or I would say uh, of the whole of her <laughs> uh, for the government. Uh, for what she has uh, said uh, in, the in, uh, in her interview, and then um, yeah, she she said uh, she was devastated uh, that she lost her job, but most of us lost our jobs too. Like uh, we don't have any income, so we're just like um, expecting for a government's help, which is like the serve, which is a big help for. Uh, not just for a Filipino community, but for everybody that 
qualified for the CERB or call it CERB. It's two thousand a month. Uh, I know two thousand. It's not that big for uh, most of us, but still, we still have two thousand and uh, still can help us financially. Uh, as uh, with this pandemic uh, right now, uh, we can uh, the government have uh, the program that we can uh, defer all the payments, right? Like uh, our car loans, our our house rent. Uh, our credit cards, especially the credit cards that you uh, mentioned as well, that uh, you've been using your credit card since you, uh, the 2000 is not enough because your rent, you're paying 1500 for your rent and then 500 for groceries, and then you're still like sending money to the Philippines, uh, which is uh, uh, it's reasonable, but uh, you can always find ways to survive, right? Ahmed uh, give us three to four months of uh, financial financial support, and for sure uh, you have gained your uh, strength, your energy uh, to uh, to find another job. Like you can even like work, uh, like uh, skip the dish. You know, I know you have car for sure. You have car. Uh, you can apply for like Uber, eat, uh, skip the dish, or whatever. You know. Or you can apply in the hospital as well, like the kitchen. For sure, they like looking for a lot of people right now. And then, you know, you're Filipina. Of course, you're Filipina, right? We uh, we are not born rich. So like uh, like you know our reputation here uh, that they said we are ha hard workers. You should uh, prove them right that we are hard workers. We're Filipino. And you didn't realize also uh, in, in your uh, interview that you represent all the Filipino all over Canada or like all over the world that uh, that seems like we're not grateful for the government help. It's not fair for, for us. I'm grateful. I'm so thankful that I'm here in Canada. So I can say thank you, Canada, for uh, for for the support, for helping my family, for all the child support, uh, for uh, like employment insurance. I'm so grateful. Uh, I'm living in Canada. Uh, it's the best place uh, to live with with a family. Also, if you are worrying about your groceries, uh, I would suggest uh, you know call like food banks for sure uh, you guys have food banks there or you can call our like Kababayans there our fellow Filipino they can probably help you like here in Alberta uh, our, Filip our fellow Filipinos like help helping each other and then thank you for that thank you guys so we're like sharing here so in order for us to live right so that's what we do we're struggling but we're not giving up we can fight this together uh, just be positive you know just be grateful be thankful for what you you have as long as we're alive we're healthy we are safe and then just helping each other that's the key you know you should realize that well mr bruno do you have any tips for her so she can survive this pandemic um my tip for you uh as a blogger, you know, uh, I would suggest that uh, you make your own like blogging account. You make your own YouTube. Uh, right now, uh, with the with with the issue that you uh, with, with the interview, you know, uh, you are you kind of famous now. So I would suggest you make your own YouTube. You can make more money there. Uh, you have a lot of fans now. You have a lot of bashers. You know that uh, you need that bashers because that's they're the key to to go up to to be a successful. So like, yeah, do it. That's my uh, advice for you. Last questions? Yes. Um, do you have anything to say with for your fellow kababayans? Uh, to all my kababayans, uh, I will uh, advise you to uh, uh, keep safe and wash your hands uh, 15 to 30 seconds 
uh, just sing like happy birthday while washing or twinkle twinkle little star star uh, and then social distancing and then please always wear mask uh, wherever you go and then the most important is uh, pray more and worry less uh, with God everything is possible Goodbye. thank you thank you mr. Bruno